What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba Marina and we're headed out to the sandbar today. We've got some multitasking going on, uh, going out to do a little treasure hunt and I do got a student who's finishing up his checkout dives with me this morning. Uh, but I want to show you a quick clip from about an hour ago. Uh, we went out and we did some underwater work on a dock. We had some poles that a gentleman needed to pull out of the ground and he, he tried his hardest to get these uh, poles pulled up and he just couldn't get them up. Um, it was roughly about 12 foot of water. Now the poles at the surface were moving quite a bit. I'm gonna say they'd move three foot when you rock them back and forth, but he just couldn't get it up. Now, according to the gentleman, there were two poles that were screwed into each other. Now, upon our first inspection of it, we come to find out that there were actually two poles of different sizes and they wasn't actually screwed in, but it was just a bolt going through them. So we made a very short dive first thing this morning, right at daylight, we went down, pulled the bolt out, got the poles out, so there was no hazard for him. But I wanna take you along with it and just show you some of the other things that we do other than just teach scuba and go on trips. We do a lot of underwater salvage and underwater repair work. So come along with us on this dive and I'll give you some final thoughts. Pull it out. Yep. Much easier in cutting. Much easier in cutting. I just hope this other one's as easy. Get that bolt. Did you drop it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, it's nine foot. Where that one went into the big pole, it's nine foot. That's deep. That's deeper than a swimming pool. But I still wouldn't let nobody jump in off of this side no, just to be on the safe side. The other side's fine. Huh? Yep. All right. Let's get this other one off for you real quick.
Okay, you're good. Go ahead and pull it up. You should be able to pull it right up. There you go. You good, Matt? Yeah. All right, slide right over here. All right, guys, so as you can see, it wasn't very difficult for us at all. We just simply descended down the pole, knocked a little bit of rust off the uh, the head of the, the bolt and off the nut itself, took two wrenches, popped them free, pulled it out, pulled the poles out, and then you did it on the second one. So really appreciate you coming along to this dive with us. If you've got any questions, simply put it down in the comment section below. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.